What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is Wednesday at 6pm and so it is likely to be new team of the week. Not likely to be, it's definitely to be new team of the week. Um, it doesn't look like Icon Swaps is here. Silver Stars is here. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That's a really nice card. We've got Romero there. The win three, score eight, assist six. 71 pace, 82 defending, 82 physical for a silver card. That's really nice. Um, still no Chelsea player, unless there's an SBC. But before we go into the SBCs, let us have a look at the team of the week. Is it going to be a good one from EA this time around or nah? Y yeah, it is. Um, they, they've done all right here. So you've got Wilfred Zaha. I did not expect it to be him. I thought Benteke would get it. Four, five star skill moves. Um, really nice dribbling, decent physicals, not great. Uh, passing does need a bit of work. Pace is real nice and shooting is good. A dead eye chem style on him would be uh, probably the one. Um, you've also got uh, Piontek and uh, Mohamed Salah 91. Of course, he already has a 91 rated card in the game. Um, the live item that's due to get upgraded to a 92 in the next couple of days. But there he is for your red player picks. You've got Otavio, who would be uh, decent as a cam, I suppose, or a centre mid but just doesn't quite have the pace nor the physicals to, to be super useful in this game. You've got uh, Milinkovic-Savic. Really, really nice card that is. Four-star, four-star, six-foot-three. Brilliant physicals. Very, very well-rounded defending. Uh, a bit heavy on the agility and balance, but his passing is super good. His shooting is super good. You know, a shadow on him. Um, and you've got yourself an insane uh, secondary CDM. And then 87, Paul Pogba. Um, of course, he does have a special card already, but five-star, four-star in there. Great physicals, um, really good dribbling as well, apart from balance. Again, passing is real nice, shooting is real nice, and his sprint speed is quite good as well. It's acceleration that lets him down. And then 88, Hyung Min Son. Um, that is a nice... Obviously, he already has a player of the month, which I don't know if he's better than or not, um, but we'll have a look uh, at, at the uh, comparisons of some of the players in a second. But 88, Stamina, which is really nice. His dribbling is really nice. You know, really, really good reactions and composure. His shooting is absolutely phenomenal. His passing is very good. His pace is very good. I mean, that is just a good card in general. And of course, four-star, five-star on Hyung Min Son. There is also Quadrado. Now, he, of course, also has a special card already. Um, but yeah, Quadrado is a right back. Especially if you play five at the back, which I do this year at the moment, and I really like five at the back. He would make a phenomenal right wing back uh, slash right mid. And he'd also make a decent right back. His stand and side tackle is quite good. Uh, his stamina is a bit low. Um, we've got... Pablo, too slow. Kieran Trippier, way too slow. Nobody cares about the goalkeepers. Uh, Hugo Mayo, too slow. Rafinha, just not very good at all, is he? Uh, Vaughan Gartlinger, too slow. El Arabi, too slow. Forsberg, doesn't really, don't really care about him either. This guy's not very good. I mean, the rest of it's pretty bad. They're, they're, they're certainly, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six players in the team of the week that are actually decent. So by EA standards, that's actually a good team of the week, um, which you don't really uh, see all that often. Let's have a look at what is here, if anything, from SBCs. Oh, is it nothing? Class Act. A rare mixed players pack untradeable. Oh, that's not very good, is it? That's not very good at all. Um, have we got any new league SBCs? No. Any new icon SBCs? No. All right, so there is seemingly nothing else. Let's go back and have a look at um, objectives real quick. See if they put something in there late that's not Silver Stars. They did not. And Milestones, they did not. Okay, let's go on to Footbin and have a little comparison of some of these players. Have a look at that Silver player and uh, what he's got going for him. Um, new players. Oh, he's not even there yet. Current team of the week. He's not even there yet. Surely they are here, though. Surely they're here, but they're not here. Do you know what I mean? Hung Min Son. Yeah, they are here, but they're not here. Um, so Son's 88. I mean, compared to his uh, 89, which, by the way, was 763,000 coins, he's got one more pace on the uh, player of the month, one more dribbling, one more defending, two more passing... No shooting at all and only three more stamina. I don't know how much this 88 is going to be. Got a million coins price cap on it. 
uh, like depending on how how much he settles out like his goal card for me was real good and this is just a good card all around you know a dead eye gives him great finishing good pace i mean you could put hunter on him as well play him at strike with that five star weak foot bang an engine on him or even a, a finisher as well to boost that uh dribbling boost that shooting up this Kung Min Song can play a whole bunch of different ways you can play him a striker cam winger center mid even if you wanted to like obviously you'd have to put the uh is it the artist no it's the uh, architect yeah the architect gives him that 99 short pass in there's another one that gives like a really uh really good passing boost can't remember which one it is but um Hyung Min Song obviously very very nice do we have the new players in here yet no we don't what was that guy's name what was the uh, Silver Stars guy called? Romero. Let's go and have a look at Romero. And see what he's got going for him. Um, Christian Romero, team of the group stage. Here we go. So the boost he's been given was 9 pace, 9 passing, 8 defending, 6 physical. Um, I mean, his reactions are nice. His passing is atrocious. Obviously, you don't really want to use this card outside of Silver events right i think even the uh, wes morgan silver card it, it, it's not very good I, I can't explain why i don't know what the issue is but it's just not very good for this guy you pop a shadow on him his physicals are quite nice makes his defending quite nice his pace quite nice his passing is terrible his dribbling is all right he will be heavy on the ball when he's two star two star uh, but he's there and he's okay we've then got paul pogba compared to his halloween card i don't think his inform is going to be anywhere near as good yeah, so his Halloween card has 15 more defending, but 10 less passing. Um, one less shooting, but one more pace and one less dribbling. I mean, this 87 Pogba's not bad. Compared to his gold, they've given him uh, two dribbling, two shooting and one across the board everywhere else. Depending on where you wanted to use him. You know, the problem The problem is, is he doesn't have good enough defending to be your out and out defense midfielder. You could certainly use him as a secondary DM because he's so big and so strong. Um... I wouldn't probably waste a chem style on him defensively. So, and, and even with his pace, his pace is a bit weird. Maybe an engine on him. That passing becomes really nice. He's got good sprint speed, good shot power, shooting otherwise is a bit meh, and really nice dribbling outside of that. Of course, with the five star, four star is uh, very, very nice. You've then got Milinkovic Savic. Um, compared to his 86, they have given him one pace, two shooting, two passing, one defending, one dribbling, and one physical. And uh, this only has 150k price range. That is really surprising. Now, this guy would be a machine as a secondary DM. His passing is so nice. 88 for uh, short passing, long passing, and vision. His pace would be good, not great. He Definitely dribbling is a bit heavy, but his physicals and defensive is so good. He would be a brilliant secondary uh, CDM for sure. Um, and uh, then Mohamed Salah as well. Mohamed Salah, of course, he has a UCL live item. And for some reason, EA have made the inform a bit different to the live item, giving the uh, the inform a bit more dribbling and the live item a bit more shooting. Of course, the 91 live Salah will be upgraded to a 92 probably on Friday. Salah's one of those players, man. I think he's brilliant in this game. And I think just because he has three-star weak foot, he just goes completely under the radar. But when you look at these stats, compared to his gold card... He's only got two dribbling, two passing. It's not like wildly different, but his pace is top tier. His positioning and finishing is brilliant. His dribbling is literally insane. He's got very good stamina and very good passing to start. You bang a dead eye on this man. And I mean, that is a hell of a card. You know, top shooting, top short passing curve and vision. He's got uh, outside the foot shot and finesse shot trait, which is absolutely brilliant. His dribbling is literally insane. Um, th this for me is... Uh, as I would say, most certainly a card that seemingly just goes wildly under the radar, uh, which is quite uh, quite interesting. And then the other players that we had, I want to look at Zaha, and I want to look at Quadrado. I think that was it for these uh, this team of the week. Um, and then, yeah, Zaha, compared to his previous one, has given one pace, two shooting, two passing, one dribbling, defending, and physical. I think Zaha's certainly good. Again, pace and dribbling is nice. Maybe a maestro on him to boost that uh, reactions and dribbling up. Boost his passing. Shooting's not the best could give him a dead eye for the shooting but i think the reactions i think the dribbling boost is probably a bit more important um could give him an engine but doesn't boost reactions gives good boost on pace not the greatest boost on passing this is certainly just one of those that you're just going to use as a winger for little cutbacks and stuff so probably maybe even an artist boost up that long passing massively crossing and vision up massively dribbling up massively you don't really see the artist chem style used all that much but it wouldn't be a terrible one that's for sure or even a dead eye, just get that short passing and vision up massively, the shooting up, 
just rely on his dribbling because of his five-star skill moves is quite nice. And then Quadrado, compared to his 84, he's got six less defending um, and uh, two less physical, seven extra dribbling and two extra passing compared to the other uh, Quadrado card. This most certainly would be better suited as a midfielder, um, but you pop a shadow on him and he is a good right back. Good standing slide tackle defensive awareness sucks. Um, obviously, pace is very good. You can give him the anchor for the aggression boost. Or you could give him something like a maestro, boost up that dribbling, that passing, and that shooting, and use him in at that cam roll or something like that. With the five star, three star, I, pr I, pr I probably would be using him as an outside cam, if anywhere, you know, or if you play 4 4 2 as a right mid or a left mid. I don't think his best position is necessarily here. What's very interesting, once again, EA doing everything they can to not boost um, one to watch cards, is Hakimi didn't get an inform, even though I believe he got two goals. And an assist or something. He he had an outstanding game. Look at that. He was up to fifty three thousand coins. He's plummeted down to twenty seven k because he didn't get the upgrade. And I I'm I'm just certain EA do that because they don't want people's one to watches to get upgraded, which is so dumb. Um, but you know, obviously Quadrado, if Hakimi did get the upgrade, swip, you know, playing those right mid right back and swift switching them in game would be ideal. Um, but yeah, there you go. So uh, the new. The new uh, Class Act SBC is all that's there. It's an untradeable Rare Mix Players Pack. It's a bit boring. And the um, yeah the new Team of the Week is there with the new um, Silver Stars player, which is pretty cool. I love the idea. I love the concept of the Silver Stars Romero in there. But all in all, guys, it's a bit of a slow Wednesday. That is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.